Tom Ellett, the man, the myth, the legend. It's time that us RAs get under his desk and find out what really makes the man tick. All of us as the RAs, we wanted to interview you. Because after interviewing 300 of us, we thought we should have our chance to put you in the hot seat. Excellent. I think it's a great idea. All right, so let's switch spots. Oh, okay, we can, we can switch spots. Sure. First off, I just wanted to thank you for your time. You know, I know you're a very busy man. Thank you. And I also wanted to say no thanks for wasting all of our time as our raise for 30 minutes oh, apiece. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to, to waste your time. Right. Anyway, enough about all us. Right, that, that's fine. More about you, Tom. Okay. Because you realize as our raise, we're very busy. You know, we, we have to make programs like twice a month at least, we have to be on duty, you know, then we have our other school work to do, and also play like Nintendo Wii and stuff like that. Oh, do you play Nintendo Wii? Stop trying to change the subject, Tom. There have been more write-ups than ever before this year. Uh, yes, there has been more. Why? Well, um, I think that um, with the sophomore change, I think we've seen a little bit more student interaction, which is good. It's just that we want to do it around, uh, not around alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now, you had your son memorize all of our names. Uh, he chose. He, he, he wanted chose. to do that. Yes, he did. Did you encourage him to do it? Absolutely not. But you did put him in front of all the RAs. I invited him. He, he invited chose. Him. Sometimes he didn't come. Now, why stop at RAs? Why didn't he start memorizing the names of all the faculty? Well, he knows all, all the, the students all that I want you. He knows all the and the commuters. Well, that's pushing it. What are you trying to say about commuters? I love commuters. We have more commuters on RA staff than uh, commuters have for RAs. Maybe. No, we do. There are actually more RAs who have lived as commuters than there are RAs for commuters. Twelve commuter RAs. No, there's a lot more RAs. Than, there's more than twelve RAs who, who have commuted on staff. How many? Forty-three. Forty-three. So if there are forty-three commuters. Roughly forty-three. Roughly forty-three. Let's say fifty. Let's say sixty. All right, sixty. So seventy. There's seventy RAs that they used to commute. And right? there are actually some transfers too. Who are RAs? Please stop interrupting me. Okay. Back to commuters, Tom. Stop trying to change the subject. All right. So if there are one hundred RAs that commute, and you said it's like forty-six. Say a hundred. That means that two hundred RAs were not commuters. And you're saying that you don't have a bias towards commuter students? Twenty sixth Street. Great place. Yeah, we're thinking about changing the name. To Happy Land. I don't know the name of it yet. Do you think that would make the building better? Uh, well, changing the name. They're actually going to renovate this summer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, you'll live there next year? Um, there's no size apartments that would fit the family. Why don't you take like two suites? Not too much money. Cost too much? Yes. It's low cost housing. Much lower the cost of the housing. <laughs> I don't control the housing costs. Do you think it's a fair price? Absolutely. This is Manhattan. Look what the, the rent, uh, you know. You can't afford it. I can't afford it. That's right. Not paying you now? <laughs> I'm compensated fine, thank you. Do you need anything else from me? Do you want anything else? No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, it's Marjorie's birth. Sorry, buddy. Wrong day.